What is happening, guys? Barry Blue here. We are back with episode three of Death Note. Uh, now, the last episode basically just set the stage for L and Kira to uh, see who can catch the other person first. Uh, both sides believe they're doing it for justice, but uh, I think L right now has the advantage since because he knows the territory of where Kira is in right now. So, uh, see how he's gonna respond. Concerning L's request that we investigate the time of death for each victim. We found that all of them occurred between the hours of 4 p.m. and 2 a.m. on weekdays, local time, with 68% of them occurring between 8 p.m. and 12 a.m. Weekends and holidays appear to be the exception to this rule, as the times of death vary much more widely than during the week. That information is extremely relevant for us. It suggests that given the times of death, our suspect could very well be a student. Mm hmm? Based on the fact that Kira's only killing criminals, I think it's safe to assume that he's driven by a very idealistic notion of justice. It's highly possible he may even aspire to be some sort of godlike figure. We're dealing with an individual who has a very childish concept of right and wrong. Yo! <laughs> of course, this is mere speculation at this point. But still, I recommend you re-examine any assumptions you've made as to whether or not our suspect could be a student. We must consider every possibility. That is the short route to finding and arresting Kira. Please continue with your report. Oh. Hey, glad you could join us for dinner. You hungry, Dad? Yeah, it's been a long day. That's his dad? Oh, man. So, Light, tell me, how are your studies going? Oh, my God. Everything's okay, I guess. Whatever. He's at the Did he not even think to realize that his dad was working for. That's my son. We're all proud of you, Light. It's crazy detective agency. Okay, Dad? You look tired. Yeah. I'm not able to say too much about it. But this case I'm working on now is... Pretty sure he knows. It's easy for me to hack into Dad's computer. We're on a home network, so I can copy the files I need without leaving a trace. Wow. This way I can keep track of their investigation. <sighs> it's getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> Well, isn't that interesting? Looks like the police are already beginning to suspect a student. <laughs> I guess that means you're in trouble. I believe Kira is telling us that not only can he kill from a distance, but he can also determine the time of death. But something's not right. As soon as we began to suspect that Kira might be a student, the pacing of the killings changed, as if to contradict that theory. Coincidence? No. Too convenient. This can only mean that Kira has access to police information. It's obvious now. This is a direct challenge to me. If L's as good as they say, by now he should be starting to suspect someone with connections to the police. So Kira has found a way to obtain information from the task force headquarters. This is one fact that cannot be ignored. But what does he get out of all this? What's especially important is that L and the investigators don't trust each other at all. Think about it. Could you trust someone whose name and face you don't even know? When L discovers that I'm somehow getting confidential information, he'll be obligated to start investigating the police to yeah. find the source of the leak. When that happens, it'll only be a matter of time before the police start resenting L. On the surface, it will appear that L and the investigation team are working together to try to catch me. But in reality, L will investigate the police, and they will be investigating L. Huh. I'm not the one who's going to find L. I can let the police do that for me. And when they do, that's when I'll eliminate him. His eyes are red again. <laughs> We all sat here and watched when L decided to pull that media stunt and challenged Kira to kill him. Well, it was all very impressive at the time. But then again, L never had to show his face or reveal his name for that matter. I'm sure you recall L's last request. He asked that we take a closer look at how these victims' identities were made public, and specifically to determine whether photos of the victims were available to the public prior to their deaths. But it turns out he was right! Every single one of those victims' names and photos were broadcast to the Japanese public, and then they died. 
Unlike some of them, you know, we're out there investigating this case wearing police IDs with our names and photos on them. Anybody with a computer can find out who we are. We don't hide our faces, we're out in the open. Sir, the truth is we could be killed by Kira at any time. For these reasons, we refuse to continue working this case. Excuse us, Chief. Hey! I don't blame him. All of you, hold it right there. You're being followed by another human. He's watching you right now. It's really starting to get on my nerves. I realize there's no way he can see me. But because I'm always following behind you wherever you go, I feel like I'm constantly being watched. That's a problem. I'll have to get rid of him as possible. Who would be following me? Does this mean El is already starting to suspect the police? If he's gonna investigate the police, he'll need a lot of resources and manpower. Even if he has as many as 50 people on the case, I don't see how they could ever figure out that I'm Kira. I shouldn't look like anything other than your average high school senior. But the longer I let this person keep following me, the greater the chances they'll figure out who I really am. Above all, I need my stalker's name. Once I figure that out, I can get rid of him for good. Shinigami can tell what a person's name is by just looking at their face. We know instantly. And do you have any idea why? Because through a Shinigami's eyes, a human's name can be seen above their head. Not only that, we see their lifespan as well. Their name and lifespan? So you know his lifespan? That's right. I'm able to see your name and lifespan right now. If I converted that to human time, I could tell you how many years you've got left. But there's no way I'd ever tell you that. I may have a big mouth, but even I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Shinigami never have to worry that they won't be able to kill a person just because they don't know their name. The price for having a Shinigami's eyes... ...is half of that person's remaining lifespan. That's all it is. Half of my remaining lifespan? Yeah. In other words, if you were supposed to live another 50 years, it'll be 25. If it was one more year, then six months. I see. And since you've made it clear you're not on anyone's side, it won't help me out. You wouldn't just give me the names of people I want to kill. As Basically, as you're saying that I can't thinking. simply borrow your powers. I'd have to pay for them. That's right. It's a key part of the code that all Shinigami are bound by. I'll say this once more. Give me half your remaining lifespan, and I'll give you the Shinigami eyes. If I agree, be able to know everyone's name just by looking at them. If I had that power, the death note would only be easier to use. Yeah, but so I'm not gonna live. Be like, so long. Is it a deal? Is that? I don't know who that is. All right, uh, that was the last take in there at the end. But I think what the Shin guy was saying was that. Uh, he knows just by looking at someone how long they're gonna live and their name. And what I was thinking at that point in time was like, oh, okay, so he could easily just go outside and look at that human and then tell uh, Kira uh, who the guy is. But he's not gonna do that because he wants half of his life. So I think Kira's probably gonna do it. I mean, we've already seen at points that his eyes are red. So I, I don't know, I think he's probably gonna end up doing it. But, uh, I don't know if he's still going to be able to tell him how long he's going to live. Anyway, so that's also going to be a factor. But El is definitely gaining track. He knows that he's a student and that he has connections to the police reports. And it's so crazy how uh, Kira's dad is actually like the head officer of their police force. So, that just makes these things even more crazier. But I uh, can't wait to get to the next episode. I really am enjoying the series. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, make sure you hit the like subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.